Hello everybody, uh, it's Invader Zim here, and this is going to be our next Let's Play. It's going to be over a game called Tales of the Drunken Paladin. And uh, the big trouble in Little China is apparently some kind of expansion pack that comes along with it. So um, this game, you've never heard of. I can almost promise you you've never heard of it. And if you have, that's completely insane, because uh, this game is really, really small apparently. Um, the, the game isn't small but it's not very well known. It's um, actually made by uh, one guy, I think, and um, it's meant to be sort of like a, you know, uh, just a fun game to play, an RPG, but it's kind of... From what I've heard, it's supposed to be pretty funny, and um, so take it or leave it. it. A friend said that I should play it. So here we are. This is going to be my first blind Let's Play, and let's go ahead and get started with uh, apparently a tale of a drunken paladin. Sounds fine enough to me. Alright, so settle down. Grab some munchies or whatever. This is going to take a while. There's a lot of stuff to cover, so we're going to do this right. Juju bees, popcorn, and sour skittles, whatever your preference. Sour skittles. <laughs> Juju bees. About ten years ago, in a place called Litchfield, uh, Maine, there appeared a group of bad dudes known primarily as they. These dudes were led by him, a man known for... Being so tough, he ate lightning bolts and whales. <laughs> uh, him and... Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. My sense of humor is really screwed up. Some things that you guys think are going to be funny, I'm not going to think are very funny. And some things that you guys aren't going to think very funny, you know, I'm going to think are funny. I'm just weird like that, so bear with me. Laugh at what you want to laugh at. I'll laugh at what I want to laugh at. It's all good. <laughs> so, him and they swept through the kingdoms of Maine, starting with Litchfield, seizing control of economy and filtering every item of consequence to be made or sold through their grimy fingers. Like all great conquerors, him spread his armies too thin and was pulled apart from the center. Bands of radical warriors came together and reclaimed their home, and him and they were forced into the mountains, where they were said to take vast hordes of treasure with them. Alright. Are you kidding all this? Because I'm not repeating any of this. This is a one-time thing. Serious time. <laughs> oh, goodness. Caboose. Reminds me of Caboose from Red vs. Blue. Some... Uh, so, something about mountains. Oh, that's right. All the valuable artifacts that they had been confiscated by they, uh, as well as any gold dollars, were said to have been either lost to the hills or destroyed. Some folks still travel through the mountain ranges searching and their children watch them become empty, desperate husks whose only goal in life is wealth. Of those few brave warriors who fought against the forces of they, most were unsuccessful. Many lost their lives or homes in the struggles, but our hero, Anabrate, I think that's how you pronounce that, probably not, I, in every LP, I, without, without failure, managed to mispronounce something, so, why not, why not our main hero's name? Let's go with that, that sounds good. <laughs> so, become more powerful than is realistically possible. Though these skirmishes lasted only months, Anabrate and his few compatriots were able to cleanse the hills of all evidence of they. Onlookers watched in disbelief as our hero fought off hordes of competent soldiers with little effort. <laughs> of competent soldiers. He is born of a god, they said. Our hero was advised by his attorney neither refute nor confirm these claims. <laughs> uh, the people of Maine began to rebuild their communities, developing more currency and reestablishing a culture rich with art and music. A new king was put in place of the old one, whose death was, come to think of it, never actually <laughs> explained. Nevertheless, the new king was among those brave fighters responsible for saving the kingdom, and his name was Steve. Hmm. Alright, I'll go with that. What a deep and enveloping storyline. This is kind of important, I'm just saying. Of course it is. Meanwhile, our hero, Anabrate, came upon a huge sum of money for no apparent reason. This was obviously not related in any way to the money stolen from the kingdom by they. In fact, should one ask him if it is related, he would say, no, it is not. All would appear well in the kingdom, for the time being. But there are mysteries afoot, and this would be a pointless introduction if it did not lead to something very similar to an adventure. Okay, that makes sense. And so it begins. Dot dot dot. What's up with dot dotting? Dotness. All right. So um, <laughs> snoring. They even added the sound effect. Um. So this is made with um, RPG Maker VX, I think. So um, 
I don't know how well this is actually going to be as a game wise, but I don't know. We're just gonna have to find out. It was recommended to me, so let's do it. Ugh. Yawn City. I'm pretty sure this bed was some kind of super cancer, because every time I wake up I feel sick. Well, I'll have to wrestle some breakfast, or in the event that my breakfast wrestles back last time. Uh, f fight it to the death so that we may establish who deserves to eat a meal. To move, arrow keys, yes. Open, do things, yes. Alright. So this is as far as I've actually gotten in this game. I got to this point when I was testing, and I have no earthly idea what to do. Um, it said space to do stuff, so there's an old photo in here with me and some pals. wonder what happened to these guys. Also, what's a photo? <laughs> okay, how about the table? Is there anything on the table? Apparently not. Over here? I swear, I just keep getting handsomer. I mean, damn, look at this gear. Worth a billion dollars and my teeth still shine more. Hey, wait a second. This is red wine. Only girls drink wet red wine. Oh, wait. No, I remember now. I nabbed it from a church because I thought it was ketchup. Okay. I gotta stop wasting all this alcohol. Oh, gross. This one is just foaming milk. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's really disgusting. One left. Found. Warm beer. Awesome. So, can I do anything with the warm beer? Junk pack. Oh, wow. I'm level 99. Secret move. <laughs> Celestial ejaculation. Oh, God. Any <laughs> breed loves death. His blood will turn brown upon the rocks of glory. Ultra death move times infinity. Oh, wow. I've got to, um, I've got to use that one move on somebody. <laughs> Sweet gear. What do I got? Some future boots? I heard these boots are from, like, the year 3000 or some shit. Best goddamn spear probably ever made, man. This thing is so sweet. At least if I was God, I would totally be using this beast. Completely insane. <laughs> God tell me, probably. Bejeweled champion armor. Buy the entire world with it. Alright, so apparently I don't have anything I can equip. Wait, what, what did that say? Go back. Get nude. Um, why would there even be that option? I'm confused. Alright, so status. What about our status? We have uber defense and pretty much uber everything. We have zero brownie points though. Or a paladin deluxe. Alright, so let's see what we can do with this beer. Uh, warm beer. Oh, it's a healing potion basically. Alright, I gotcha. Ah yes, my vast riches. No need for these now. I couldn't possibly carry another dime. Okay. Interesting enough. Uh, I did not mean to click that again. Okay, let's go outside. Yeah, a lot of people ask me, Hey, Innerbert, what's it like being the greatest warrior in the entire universe? And I really don't have an answer for that, except that's a lie. I totally do, it's just like being the juiciest red apple in a trash can full of flies. Except instead of flies, it's hot babes, <laughs> instead of being an apple, <laughs> I'm a ripped warrior. I'll never forget the time I was saving these orphans from a fire, and this huge dragon just busts out of nowhere and starts getting all mad about nothing, talking trash or whatever. So I did what every self-respecting master of combat would do. I karate chopped him right in the frontal pouch region. <laughs> Dragons have pouches, by the way. Okay, kangaroo dragon, maybe? Hmm, seems like there's no food lying around in here, just a lot of sticky things. This is no good. I wonder if Larry's is open yet. I could really go for a quad stacker bacon super burger. God, sounds like a heart attack on buns. What am I doing? This clock hasn't told me the time in like six years. Well, I guess we'll go through all this stuff methodically. What does this say? My great 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 grandfather. It's inspiring just to look at this photograph. But I rule way more, so I might just junk this picture later and just get one of myself up there. Brilliant. My favorite water bowl. It's for foot baths or some shit. All the stuff that God's really into. Uh, Emptiesville. 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 Lots of Emptiesville. Can I, can I come over here and check what's in this? What's this? Some kind of energy drink? Must have been for mixed drinks. Full throttle. Sweet. Little mouse poops. Hmm. Okay. Check in here. 
This is my trash basket. It's empty, as you can see. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's over here? Oh, sweet Mary, that's a huge rat. Okay. Nice, there's a mug stuck between these dried food snacks, or sacks. Man, these things get everywhere. Ah, more beer. Sweet. Uh, Emptiesville. Emptiesville. Lots of Emptiesvilles. <laughs> empty, empty, empty. Mom said I'd never get anywhere without college. <laughs> uh, goodness. Uh, there was once filled with some... Or these were once filled with some sort of beverage, but have long since become fly hotels. Okay. Captain Crunch. In hindsight, <laughs> buying this much of it at once wasn't a great idea. Because <laughs> it's all moldy. Now it's all turning dark. Wow, someone must have broken into my house and planted these vegetables. Okay. Very interesting. I could use a girl... <laughs> I could use a girlfriend. El Spunda, as they call them in Mexico. Is there anything? Bread! Isn't. Are I looking for food? There's bread. Silverware! Alright, let's just shout out random things. Sure. Emptiesville. What about this? Haha, <laughs> books. What is this doing here? Multiply this by like 2 million, and you have how much my helmet is worth. <laughs> Alright, what about these papers over here? Ugh, bills. Bills, bills, bills. Oh, yes. A coupon for Larry's Tavern. Woot. Coupon. Go us. Alright, let's see what all we got. Goods. Oh. <laughs> Kicks you in the mouth. Dead or not. So, resurrects people. Got some beer. And how about Larry's coupon? Half off all of Larry's delicious donuts. Oh, we're going to go get donuts. That makes sense now. Wow, what a nice day. It's almost... It almost makes me want to take off all this hot armor and go for a swim. Except that I'm insecure, so no thanks. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what's this? Dear resident of 37 Beaver Street, effective tomorrow, 12 to 25, two weeks time will be granted to supplement the removal of all belongings, including this eviction notice, which now belongs to you. Please don't be a dick about it about this. Failure to remove all personal belongings will result in the destruction of your head, courtesy of my right hook. Thank you for your cooperation. Signed, Your Majesty, the illustrious Steve. Well, <laughs> that's not good at all. In fact, that's bad. And hold the phone? Just what's going on here? I have a billion dollars. How is this house not paid for? <laughs> this is clearly some kind of error. I'll just mosey on down to the castle and get them to rectify this unfortunate accident because if they don't fix this then I'm going to completely sick out on this house and smash it into a burning pile of turd paste <laughs> which is gross nobody wants that damn my asthma is flaring up breathe and a breathe I'm just going to kind of sort this out wait am I, can I not take it oh apparently I don't don't need to take it all right We'll go with that. Can I take this axe? Apparently not. How about anything in this pot up here? I'll use this someday. <laughs> That's what every hoarder says. Resident Sector, Beaver Street, South Moose Lane, East Marketplace. I want to go to freaking Moose Lane. You silly Billy. This is the long way. What am I thinking? I don't know what I was thinking. Can we go attack this butterfly? I hate butterflies. Okay. So you do. Let's go inside this random house. Actually, let's go steal their food first. More corn! What? More corn? Okay, I don't remember there being corn to begin with. But if you say so, let's go talk to this small child. Hello there, Mr. Paladin. I'm going to be just like you when I grow up. Then let me give you a couple of pointers. Save you some trouble. First of all, stay away from Lewiston hookers. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> you're the ones with the sexy boots. Secondly, when you start getting hairy, <laughs> you're the only one that's happening to and it means you're a freak. Also, I'm pretty sure I got really hammered once and woke up next to your mom in a room full of live rattlesnakes. <laughs> so you might be more like me than you thought. That's all the tips I got for now. Oh my gosh. Hmm. This kid won't care about his flowers going missing, and if he does, I'll beat him up. What did we just steal from this place? Um, common pink flowers. 
Someone told me they brew well. Okay. Ha ha! Fish. Gross. <laughs> okay. Apparently we don't like fish. It's a set of play armor for children. Never overlook a sack of stacks. That's rule number two. What? Tears of children? The heck? That's kind of demonic. Really, really satisfying and salty. Uh, orphan Tears. Any of you guys ever seen that? It's on YouTube. Type in Orphan Tears. It's a little bit weird. Uh, soggy Drawers, if you catch my drift. Ooh. Hmm, spices. Don't really feel like stealing these. Although I am feeling spicy. <laughs> Aren't you just so badass? These beds are wet. You? Disgusting. Let's leave. Actually, let's go to this fireplace. Or let's not. Nothing but shoes in these boxes. Not even the cool, useful kind. Just shoes. <laughs> okay. What about you, girl? Do you have anything to say? It's been a long time, Annabrett. Yeah. Let's not talk about it. I had to pay the mate 800 to suck the poison out of my inner thigh. <laughs> what? Junk, 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 junk. Bosh. Awesome. Found a new hat. <laughs> fishing hat. Hell yes, I have a fishing hat now. What does this do? Nobody's going to actually use this for fishing. Let's be honest. Ugh, I would use it for fishing. I already checked all this stuff. Got me a hat. Okay. Clock? Does this one work? Must be nice to have a clock that actually works. <laughs> clock works. Ha ha ha, so funny. Alright. It's a book called Taming the Beast, Learning to Cope with Inexplicable Fits of Random <laughs> Violence. Oh my. <laughs> it's a... Uh, well, apparently... What is this even doing here? It kind of feels out of place. That's a bed, man. Why does it feel out of... Oh, because this is not... Yeah, that is... <laughs> this is kind of out of place. Alright, let's go Let's go raid these people's houses more. This is... <laughs> okay. I gotta get me one of those. It's like a freaking throne. What the hell is a throne doing in these people's house? Whatever. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Alright. Actually, I'm going to go raid this other house. Ha ha! Nobody lives here, or lived here, for as long as I can remember. I wonder who built this place. There are so many people. Oh my goodness, a treasure chest. <laughs> Number one rule of looters. Can I not... Can I not move it? Can you tell me how to move this? Jesse's girl, have you considered pulling as an option? What? You know, pulling. Instead of pushing that rock like a dumbass, <laughs> pull it using shift. Oh, thank you. Wait, what? I'm using shift. Shift does nothing. You lied to me. Yes, I did consider it. Maybe I'm supposed to press the other shift button. No. Hold both shift buttons? Ah, damn you, girl. I have no idea how to pull this. Grr. Shift. I'm gonna like press shift too many times and the sticky key is gonna come up. Hey, you will. All kinds of mysteries lie deep within these seemingly simple holes in the ground. Hey, you up there. Help. <laughs> Holy smokes, buddy. Are you alright? I require attention immediately. Special attention. Hurry. Uh, yeah. Of course. <laughs> What kind of attention exactly? <laughs> Love, the strongest kind, my friend. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> don't play your love games, I need you more than ever. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'll be looking into that well anymore. This is definitely a rock, but I have no idea what to do with it. Maybe if I had some kind of tool. Hmm. Did you tell me to press shift? What? You know, pulling. Instead of pushing that rock like a dumbass, pull it using shift. I am pressing shift, lady. Are you sure you don't need something else? I'm trying to pull it. I promise. I'm, I, I think I'm just... I think this is just here to piss you off. I'm pretty sure. Because <laughs> I'm pressing shift. I bet or I'm just really am a dumbass. One of the two. These crates are coated entirely by a thin, whitish film. Ew. How disgusting. Do you know about the pervert down in the well? Have you ever looked at the 
at a rock, like really, really looked at one? I uh, yes. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> this city's full of morons. All right, let's go talk to this person. Jake the Snake. Yo, I'm Jake the Snake, and I'm the leader of the Sweet Snakes Gang. That's great, kid. Go play. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's go into this house over here. We haven't stolen all of their goods yet. All right. I have come to steal everything you own that is of value, just like any good RPG player would do. These flowers are dead. That's the last thing I need. How about you, old man? Harumph. What? Did you just harumph me? That doesn't even make sense. Casting love spells for dummies. Huh. <laughs> no thanks, I'll just sleep in a bed. Oh my goodness, it's a hat. I once knew a guy who only wore a lot of green. Pretty sure he got chopped in half by a scythe. Okay. Nobody's mustache can stop me from obtaining these here flowers. What? I'm so confused. Mustache? Cough. Hey, there's a little dusty key in here. Hey, I got a key, I think. Found in the fireplace of some old folks. Hmm. That probably lets me into some sort of hidden passage. They should make me more things on the cob, like rice on the cob or beer on the cob. That's a good idea. That is a brilliant idea, actually. You say tomato, I say shut up, you stupid face. Nobody likes tomatoes. Okay. Alright, what about you, lady? Margaret, I do hope that grandchildren stop by soon. It's awfully boring here. Well, I mean, you are old. Uh, Alright, well, let's go down here. Door's locked. Oh, wait, shit, I found this key. I bet it goes in here. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> Ew, my goodness, that's too funny. Oh, great. Cups. Why? Why? Cups. Why does that matter? Um... Yes, now we're talking rum. Sweet. Rum. Ha, huh, figures these two geezers had a stash. Warm beer. Okay, so what's the difference? Let's see. Warm beer. What's the difference between warm beer and beer? Oh, warm beer is beer. And beer is also warm beer, apparently. Um... Rum. Rum's like an improved health thing. Alright, I gotcha. Alright, let's do this. Let's bounce. Let's get out of here. We don't need these old people. They are overrated. And you're that stupid chick who thinks I'm a retard. A retard. I don't even have a wood stove. I just chopped all this firewood because I hate trees. Oh, goodness. That's pretty funny. How about the pervert down here? Can you say anything else? <laughs> I don't think so. Look, we have a bunch of... Is that hay or gold on our roof? I'm not sure which. Alright, what about over here? I think over here. Hmm. Alright, well, looks like we're going this way. Uh, can we go up this way? There's a ladder. Not happening. I'm fat. Yeah, I said it. I'm fat. Maybe if I had something to stand on or a rope to kind of loop around one of those ladder rungs, I could pull this off. <sighs> Sorry, my friend. I do not have a rope. Uh, still can't do anything with the butterfly. Alright, let's go to the next screen. Incoherent screams. Uh oh, sounds like bad news. Hope I don't have to do stuff. <laughs> that would just be awful. <laughs> Doing things. Ugh. Yo, dude. Help! Somebody help me! Angry guy. Nobody can save you, pathetic human female. Oh no, this big powerful man. Machine has abducted me. Surely there is no abundantly rich and handsome paladins in the immediate vicinity that could come and rescue me. What? I'm one of those. <laughs> Man, I am so ripped. I can try to tank my bare hands without even trying. Also, my name is McCann. McCannorcor. It's on my resume. Uh, hey, McCannorcor. I'm just trying to get to the castle so I can figure out why my house has been foreclosed on. Mind if I slip through here? What did you say? Oh, castle, sure. Whatever, man, no biggie. Ahem. <clears throat> what? Shit, I mean, no foolish weakling. <laughs> I hate when people go. 
<laughs> Go to castles. Are you serious? Look at how goddamn. <laughs> Oh goodness. Alright, you know what? Fine. Let's go, Tin Man. I'm talking. I'm taking you down to Chinatown. Alright, let's do this. First battle. Bust it out of nowhere. It's all over for you, Castle Goer. Nop. Oh god. <laughs> I've, I've got to. I've got to. I couldn't help it. Oh, wait, what? What, what did I just do? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. Um, ultra death move. Here we go. Uh oh! Wow! Damn, you're actually kind of a beast. <laughs> really didn't see that coming. Okay, how about just regular attack? Can I just regularly attack you? Doesn't do as much damage though. Fetal position. <laughs> Um, alright, let's just continually use our super death move. Times infinity. What do they feed you? <laughs> Is everyone in this town insane? Jeepers, man, that hurts like crazy. That's not going to ever heal. Okay. Uh, let's go to... Do the secret move again. Or the ultra death move. Oh, we killed him. What? 30,000 brownie points? $2,000. Sweet. Ouch, man. What the? What was that? I don't even. Get out of here, weird robot man. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Fine. Jeez, I'm leaving. This is so embarrassing. Pff, didn't even break a sweat. I can't believe how much I rule sometimes. Oh, thank you so much. How can I ever repay you? Well, for one, you can stop by uh, being a total wimp and getting kidnapped by clowns in giant armor. Oh, you're so wise. Please take off your helmet so that I can see how handsome you are and also kiss you. And now we're talking. This kind of thing happens all the time. Let me just pull off the champion hat. Now, where were you? Oh, <laughs> Poor guy. What? Oh, man. I feel like I've been kicked in the head by a moose. Where am I? Is this my house? No, it's not your house. <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? I'm a friend, Anna Britt. Do not worry. Why don't I remember you? You were kicked in the head by, <laughs> by a moose last night. I'm afraid you may have forgotten the last six or seven years. Alright, with that being said, I think we're going to stop. These videos are going to be about 30 minutes long. So thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next video where we can talk about getting kicked in the head by a moose and this crazy lady. And anything else that may, you know, show up like giant whales or whatever it was babbling on about at the beginning. So thanks for so much for watching. Do post in the comments if you like this series. Um, I don't know. I kind of think it's kind of cool, but um, I've never played the game. It's not like a really good game. It's just more of me messing around. I figured I have one goof off series going on. So, thank you guys yet again so much for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.